Let's look now at customizing our VST connections, which is basically assigning your inputs and outputs from Cubase, usually involving your sound card. We come over here to Devices, VST Connections, and you'll see this is showing all of our inputs and of all of our outputs. In this case, I have two cards plugged into my computer. I have an internal card called Sigmatel Audio, and I have an uh, external card by M Audio called a Fast Track Pro. We could come over here and we can set different amounts of inputs and outputs on your VST connection. Right now I'm just mixing in stereo and you notice that on my mixing board, let me go over to my mixing board, hit F3, show everything over here. You'll see that I have one stereo output which is going to my sound card so I can monitor in stereo. But there's going to be some cases where you're going to want to use more than one, more than one stereo input or output. If you're mixing in Dolby Pro Logic, for example, which has five outputs, or THX, which has six outputs, or if you're recording drums coming in and your sound card has eight inputs, and you're recording one drum to one track and the next drum to the next track to keep them separate, here's where you will set up all of your VST connections. And you'll notice over here that when I click on the channel and I go up here, you'll see that it's showing my ASIO multimedia driver. Um, this is just a generic label that came when I set it up in Cubase. Back to our VST connections. Now you notice, like I said, we have our inputs and our outputs, which uh, in this case is the sound card. Right now I have one stereo connection showing and Cubase gave it a generic name, which is an ASIO multimedia driver, when in reality it's the Sigma Tel card that I'm using. So you could come up here and you can rename this, which I totally recommend. Enter. And now it's more, it's more of a description than a generic name. You notice that this stereo output the left side of the output is using the Sigmatel left side and the right side is using the Sigmatel right side. You notice over here that since I did that, it changed the name, Sigmatel. So now when I click on it, rather than it having a generic name called ASIO Multimedia Driver, it'll show the actual name of the sound card that's being used, which is Sigmatel. You can set up several different outputs. Like I said, let's go into the inputs and do the same thing. We're showing Sigmatel. So we want to rename this more as a description rather than just a generic name. So now when you look over here, you'll see that the input is also showing Sigmatel and the output is showing Sigmatel. That's much more uh, convenient because you can tell which sound card you're actually using or which output you're actually using. Let's go back to VST connections. Now if you're using more than one input, um, like if you're recording drums, the way that you'll want to do it is you'll add uh, several mono input buses. Let's say we're recording, uh, let's say kick, snare, drum, and hi-hat. We'll want to add three mono uh, inputs and when we do that, we'll see we added three mono inputs here. This closes and opens it. So we look at mono number one, and we can select which output of the sound card it's actually using. So I could come over here, and I could go, okay, mono output number one is going to go to the Sigmatel number one, which I would want to name so it doesn't get confusing. So now my mono input here, Sigmatel number one, is actually using the input of Sigmatel number one. This area over here is, is actually selecting the sound card. When I select this, it's selecting input number one on the Sigmatel sound card. This is selecting input number four on the Fast Track Pro. So we got one set up. Now we'll come down to number two. Let's make this the second input on the Sigmatel card. We want to name it again so that it's more of a description. And likewise, you can keep going on. Now when you come over here and if you look at your mono channels, uh, if you look at your channels over here, 
let's add a mono channel here add audio track we'll look at this in another tutorial also adding channels um, now when I have my channel over here you'll notice that it says Sigma Tel 1 or Sigma Tel 2 so this would be input from from number one input on my Sigma Tel sound card this would be input from number two come over here to VST connections again remember we added three of them We'll call this uh, Fast Track Pro 1. And then I come over here and I actually assign the input to Fast Track Pro 1. 1 and 2, actually, that's showing. So you see that if I have a sound card like this Sigma Tau has two inputs. But if you have a card that has eight inputs, you would want to go in here and create, if you're recording drums, you'd want to create eight mono inputs and assign the first one from input one, second one from input two, and so on. So that when you come over here and you get set up ready to record drums and you create new channels like we did down here, you can select is this coming from the input of number one, from the input of number two, or from the Fast Track Pro one. So you can select here the VST connections actually names your uh, inputs and outputs corresponding to the sound card and when you come over here then you'll be able to select uh, accurately which input of the sound card you want to use. You'll know